We're gonna use this. We're gonna we're gonna rank it. Freehold. Guys, I'm pretty sure it's like just a given that freehold is an S tier dungeon, right? Like the boss fights are fun. The trash isn't awful. It's a pretty easy short run. It drops a mount. The mythic affixes are typically pretty good with it. I would definitely, I'm definitely going to put freehold with an S tier on that one. Yeah, freehold feels super open. 100%. You're still panting. Dude, I'm still out of shape. Shut up. Easy dungeon. It's very easy. So yeah, Freehold, I would say is definitely easy. It's, oops, it's uh, pirate themed, which is cool. The Ring of Booty dialogue. Okay, so I would say that the Wing of the wing of Booty, we found ways to make it easier, right? Or to make it to make it faster. I would argue though that, that potentially if we didn't find those ways and you were stuck, like if you couldn't pull trash into the ring and it was its own thing, I would, I would lower it to an A. Nobody better touch my booty. Harlan Sweet is a super fun boss, I think. Uh, all of the affixes that they added were quite fun. I would say... I would say it's an S tier. Okay, so this has... This is weird. This has the Mechagon as a as a double... As a... We have a... We have a... Uh, we have a weird choice here, guys. Never sad about a freehold. Uh, we have Mechagon. But it, it's it's this Mechagon is the Mega Dungeon, which I don't know. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit more. I don't know how I feel about the Mega Dungeon. Right? Like, Mega Dungeon, I'd give it a little bit lower. Because some weeks, Junkyard's fantastic. Some weeks, it's not. Some weeks, uh, Workshop is fantastic. Some weeks, it's not. Like, I'm, I'm not a fan of Junkyard. Uh, and I know a lot of high key pushers are a huge fan of Junkyard, right? Because you have the the bots, the, 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 zappy, the zappy bots. So you can use those to cheese the entire dungeon, right? But you, you don't, it's, I don't know. I don't like, I don't really like the boss fights. Uh, I don't, super glad they break it up for Mythic Plus. Right. The whole thing as a whole on a zero, it's not good. But it's good. Okay, it's not that it's not it's just not fun to run. It's too long. Uh workshop though. Workshop I'd give S tier. I love workshop, dude. I love workshop. I actually especially like wor workshop tyrannical keys. I think are a lot of fun because I like the boss fights a lot. Uh going from like the last boss is super fun, I think. You have the 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 dog there, the first like the first boss that you fight or the second boss that you fight. It's short. It's a really short dungeon, which I I'm a fan of like jumping in and, and you know. Workshop's pretty good. See, that's the thing. Like, all right, so junkyard I'd give a B. Workshop I'd give S. So I gotta give I gotta give, Kuj is it Kugo or Kujo? It's Kujo, right? K K U J O. I would give the mega, I would give them like they average together to be an A, but typically I would say, I would say workshop is S tier, junkyard's B. Well, I'll give them an A. A K U J, K U J O. Kujo. Ring? Oh, well, I, the, okay, so the equipment, that's the other thing about Mechagon. The equipment is great. Some of those rings are amazing. The, the wrist, the hypo, therm, the hypo. Tempo the the bra the wrists for fire mages in particular fantastic right uh, a lot of the rings you can get um are incredible hyper thread thank you yeah the hyper thread wrists are insane uh the the some of the rings you can get the one uh, like where if you attack an enemy from behind like for for a resto druid for instance if you if you attack an enemy from behind then you heal everybody for a certain amount that is, I love that. That is fantastic, dude. So good. Um, so for, I, yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd rank Mechagon really, really high. All right, next we have, uh, is this King's Rest? Yes, 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 yes. This is King's Rest. 
Honestly, honestly, I'd give King's Rest an S tier. I'd give King's Rest an S tier for me. Uh, it's hard. It's probably one of the harder dungeons. You'd you'd give it a B. Uh, I love I love most of the fights in King's Rest. I love the theme of King's Rest. I love the music in King's Rest. I love the sword that I still have never gotten, the two-handed sword, Gateku or whatever. The still have never gotten that, but I want it. King's Rest for me has probably the most varied bosses and the most varied trash. I love I I just love King's Rest. And this 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 Aphix right now that we're currently in with this season with all of the skips and everything, I think it's even it's even it's even cooler, right? But you don't really use like the bridge the bridge skips are really fun. You give it an A for bosses, B because of trash. See, I'd give it I'd give it an S for bosses and a and an A for trash, but I like doing King's Rest. Like typically when somebody's like, hey, you want to do a King's Rest run? I'm like, yeah, I'm in. Like I'm just I'm down, dude. Never been anything in there worth grabbing. So you guys would potentially knock King's Rest down to an uh, A or B? I guess compared to the rest of BFA dungeons, it's up there with freehold for me. Like when somebody's like, hey, you want to do a freehold? I'm like, yeah. Somebody's like, hey, I want to do a King's Rest. You have to mount the mummified raptor, which is actually a, a fantastic looking mount. That drops from there as well. The final boss, I think is super fun. Uh, actually, I think all the bosses are fun. The council boss is pretty cool. Um... The even the trash, the like council trash that like spawns at different times. I like that. I yeah, I gotta I gotta give it that. The the shade of Zul being as hard as it is, especially if you're a prot warrior, uh is actually super cool. Like like yeah, it's annoying and it's kind of ridiculous, but ritual binders ring, that's pretty good. Gateku. I love that sword. I still don't have it, but something to get it still is, dude. It's still great to get, if, like, a Rhett Paladin. You still want that sword. It's still good. I'm wrong. I Listen, that shade sucks, but that shade is also fun. I like, dude, I like, like, I like the fact that there's one mob that can just shut you down. I think that's, I think it's cool. All right, so I, I'd give, I'd give, I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> we need to get into other dungeons because I feel like I'm rating these way too high. Freehold S tier, King's Rest S tier, Mechagon Workshop S tier. Junkyard B tier. It's so funny because I feel like people that push high mythic pluses are gonna be like junkyard junkyard S tier. <laughs> like So Siege, yeah, alright. Uh this isn't Siege. This is um Mo Mother Load. I I'd give Mother Load an A. Yeah, I, I would say Mother Okay, that one's tough for me. It's not an S tier, it's definitely not an S tier. I, I'd, I'd say A. The trash is varied. It's giant. The theme is really cool. Uh, you skip the, you skip the, like, lab area portion, right? With the, like, for the, like, you typically always skip those. The, some of the Mythic Plus strats that you can do in Mother Load are really, really cool. Uh, especially this season. The bosses are kind of fun, except for Rixa. I don't really enjoy Rixa at all. Um, and I'm, I'm a prop paladin. Uh, and she still almost hammers me every single time. The pacing is weird. It's like they do all the trash, then boss rush mode. See, but I, I actually like that. I like the idea of like uh, a boss, a boss rush. Like one, like, all right, we cleared all the trash. Now we can focus on boss after boss after boss. And it's not done in a way like a like a wave based encounter, right? Like I don't like I don't like wave based dungeons because I I just I just don't really like it. And I'm also not a huge fan of trash. So getting trash out of the way feels really good because then I can just focus on the fun part, which is which is the which is the dungeon, which is the bosses. Yeah, thirteen mother loads fine. You know, like standing in the same room for an entire dungeon. So funny you should say that because uh, Trial of the Crusader is actually one of my favorite dungeons, uh, but I have uh, um, Violet Hold is one of my least favorite. So yeah, I would I would give Mother Load, I would I would put Mother Load up there. I also I really like that for later 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 expansions. If there's ever a reason to farm Mother Load, I love when they give you an easy out, which I think most of the dungeons nowadays do. But Mother Load feels better to me because it's a little more like thematic. 
I like the th the the thematic of getting in the minecart after Azeroth or whatever his name is and going down into the the like lab area. Um I like that. I also I don't think it's that hard. It can be hard, but I don't think it's that hard. This this season in particular adds a ton of a ton of skips that you couldn't do unless you were a night elf group. I thought I thought uh freehold would be the only S tier. Uh, I I personally really like King's Rest. I think there's actually another S tier in here, to be honest with you. Alright. Alright, ready? Alright, so mother load mother load I'd give an A. Shrine of the Storm, baby. Dude, I did it. I'm doing it. Don't know her. No, she's... Okay, Shrine of the Storm is C tier. Um, Shrine of the Storm is C tier because... It's... I feel like it's one of the hardest... Not only is it one of the hardest dungeons, but it's the hardest in not a fun way. It's the hardest because a lot of the trash needs to be, like, super micromanaged. And it just makes it for not fun. There's so many casters that can just sit on you and spank you. Uh, yeah, I love the aesthetic. The story of Shrine is great. But, dude, the 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 trash... All of the casters that you have to deal with in that dungeon make it so redonkulous. Um, the end boss is a highlight, which is why I moved it up from D to C. The last boss, I think, is super cool. Uh, the... The trash, the trash makes it so, so not... The bosses are a lot of fun. Um, the bosses are a lot of fun in, in Shrine of the Storm, except for the the two, the Gale, Gale Caller and... Um, what's his name? Those two, not a fan. Uh, I don't like that boss fight at all. I think it's one of the hardest Mythic Pluses to do because of the reasons that I said, because of micromanaging trash, Right? And if, like, somebody misses an interrupt, then you're, like, then it's like, oh, shit, well, we just wipe it. And the first boss is fun. I, like, I do like all the bosses. The first one's cool. I like the split mechanic. I love seeing, I love seeing people get knocked off the edge because they weren't paying attention. Super cool. It's easy peasy for AoE stunners. I, I still disagree. I don't think trying the storm is easy peasy for anybody because there's just so many casters. Lord Stormsong is cool. Going going through Stormsong Valley questline, right? If you're Alliance, and then immediately going and going into Shrine of the Storm feels feels awesome, right? Story theme that feels really really good. Uh, any yeah, I'll like any boss with a single target. Yep, I, I believe that. Um, but as as Horde, if you were to if you were to go from Horde to Storm uh, Shrine of the Storm, I feel like you're missing a lot there, right? So that kind of that that would lower it. If I was a horde main, I would lower it. I think C's I think C's good. It's it's not it's a slightly below average for me for a dungeon. It's not one when somebody's like, oh, I have a shrine of the storm key. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I got, I'm good. I don't need it. All right. <clears throat> you guys ready for you guys ready for the most controversial one? You guys are gonna you guys are gonna get so mad at me, dude. You guys are gonna flip the fuck out. You guys are gonna get mad, I know it. I, dude, I did it. I did it. Siege of Boralus is a fantastic, a fantastic dungeon. I love it. I, I love Siege of Boralus so much. One of my favorite in the entire game. Yeah. Dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, the end boss, I think, is super cool. It can get really frustrating if the group doesn't know what they're doing. Or if the group isn't like as on top of it or they don't know the timing with the tentacles and stuff like that, they're not paying attention to timers or, or whatever, then yeah, the fight gets completely out of hand and you're like, this sucks, right? If When you get a group though that knows what they're doing, Siege of Boralus, I think, can be one of the smoothest dungeons in the entirety of BFA. I feel like the pacing feels good. I feel like the bosses feel good. Um, ty high tyrannical keys can really suck just because there's just so much health obviously added to all of the bosses and ones like um 
what's her name, clear the deck. Uh, she sucks because she just has so much health and she leaps away all the time that it's like... Um, Horde has a much nicer time, I would argue, in Siege of Boralus than Alliance. But as Alliance, I really like battling through Boralus. Um, I love I love the city of Boralus. I love <laughs> Lord Algamon. I love, love, love the idea of like taking our city back. And the big thing that I really enjoy about it is the fact that I don't have to go anywhere for the for the portal. I know that's like a super small little thing, but it's really nice to for to join a group that's like, hey, we're doing a Siege of Boralus key. And I'm like, cool. I just go downstairs and I go in. I it's such a small thing. I just like it. We don't have to summon anybody. We can just go. We can just start. We can we can boom, 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 boom. I'm into it. And once you get in and you start doing the pulls, for me, it feels it feels super fluid, especially right now. You can use the spotters. A lot of people will use spotters to deal with a lot of the trash, which I think is kind of fun, uh, especially when people don't really know what they're doing and they get hit by a by a bolstered, uh, bolstered uh, spotter. That's funny to me. Um, <laughs> You think you would bump it down to an A? So the only reason, the only reason that I would bump it down to an A is because nobody wants to do it. So it's hard to do Siege of Boralus keys. That would be the only reason I would bump it down. But personally, I love it. As for you too, actually, you would S tier Siege? You're wrong because Boralus starts with a B and that's why it's a B. Yeah, but it's Siege of Boralus and it starts with an S, so. Um, that's where you're wrong. Lawyered, dude. Lawyered. Yeah. Uh, Shield Wall, what about you, man? What would you, what would you, what would you say about Siege? Do we have any, do we have any high key pushers here? I know high key pushers are not super into it, right? It's down there with really unnecessarily punishing many weeks. I agree with that. I do think there are some weeks that are that it is a it is a dungeon that you want to stay away from. What about just base though? Just its base its base form. A for me because that last boss sucks if you don't. I agree. Last boss, but it feels really good when you do it clean. You know what I mean? It feels really good. It feels like a Disney ride. Oh yeah. You know what? I think that's why I really like it. I think you're absolutely right. I've never thought of Siege of Boralus in that way, but you're totally right. It does feel, it feels like a Disney ride. It, re it really does. It, yeah. Yeah, wow. I never thought it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. That's why it's an S tier for me. Feels like a Disney ride. I don't really enjoy any of the boss fights. Just kind of feel like slogs. Yeah, I think the I think the health pools across the board for BFA on Tyrannical need to be nerfed though. So the end cinematic, the end cinematic is incredibly good. Uh, I really like that the the boss that you face there, uh, the second to last boss. Right, like that that feels really cool. The scenery is great. But yeah, it's Boralus. And Boralus is also I think one of the best cities World of Warcraft has ever done. So I gotta give it there. All right. Temple of Sethralis. Dude, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it, man. I gotta see it. I'm sorry. Listen, I don't like Temple of Snek. I don't. Uh, a lot of the reason is because when it first came out, which is when I did it the most, uh, it was redonkulous. Like it was, it was by far, I think, one of one of the harder dungeons that they've done. And not in a fun way, in like a, in like a, oh, cool, that mob hit me, so I'm dead. Like, even on not, even on not high keys, it was like super annoying. Um, I actually really, really don't like the eye room. I know there's ways of cheesing it, but I really don't like it. Oh, the, the Galv guy, the Gal, Galv's, that boss fight was like super hard when it first came out. Super, super annoying. The sparks, um, uh, yeah, if you have any, any lag whatsoever, the, the bridges with the sparks and everything is just absolute uh, that sucks um if you're too fat like if you're a if you're a protection uh a draenei paladin uh protection has nothing to do with it but if you're a draenei paladin and you go to divine steed through there you're getting knocked back because you're you're big you're big boy um that sucks uh the last boss on explosive weeks are horrible uh 
you have to basic you have to essentially take somebody out of the fight to deal with explosive and that kind of stinks um the heartbreaker enemies are super super annoying and again when it first came out those guys would truck you uh i'm not super into the theme to be honest with you i do like Voldoon, and i like the the snake people a lot but oh in the first the first boss uh on on tyrannical can be really really rough uh yep charge accumulators the scripting on the last boss adds a lot of wasted time yep uh i don't mind healing bosses like i don't i don't mind that at all um but yeah and then and then like once you do heal her i feel like the fight should end but it doesn't she has to come down and like prolong the fight for whatever reason uh which feels cool because you're like bringing a loa back into the world right that feels awesome but yeah people don't interrupt um a lot of the trash feels it feels like too much trash to me those crocolus pup croc croc what are they crolusk the crolusk pups or whatever they're called those things can hurt i'm just generally not a fan of temple of sethralis i um, i honestly dude you know what it's been nerfed so heavily that it's a c part of me wants to give it a d it's literally one of my least favorite dungeons to run in BFA. And I know it's gotten a lot better. And the last time I did it, it was no problem whatsoever. I think that was like a 13 or, or 14 or something. But it was never like, I'll, you'll jump at a... Yeah, and well, now in this season, it's a lot better, but... I'll give it a C. I'll give it a C because at the end of BFA, it's much better than it was. If this was the beginning of BFA, though, this thing would be like fucking off the... Yeah. And I know some people love Temple of Snake, but it's a B for you, BD. Aesthetically, it is pretty cool. It like it's not really my it's not my personal aesthetic. Um, I'm not really into desert terrains except for uh, Uldum, but that's because I like like Egyptian architecture. I don't know if I'm like super into the snake architecture. Take it over most of the pool because it's pretty easy. It is pretty easy now. Yeah, I agree explosive it's a d all right next we got uh we got told to gore dude i i have to listen i think we all know where this is going right s tier just kidding uh it's d told to gore is a d it's a d which is too bad aesthetically uh theming wise one of my one of my favorites i think it's super cool um but it's it's so buggy With a rogue, with a rogue or a different door opener requirement. Sound design is incredible. That's true. The sound design, the sound design in Toldegore is absolutely phenomenal. The, the bosses suck. The trash sucks. The geometry of the room doesn't work. Yep, hundred percent. You get smacked with everything. Um, your your twilight devastations pull shit that you didn't mean to pull. Uh, the the story's cool. Taking out the overseer, overseer Corgus was busted until people figured out like where exactly to position him uh that fight was super hard like incredibly difficult for healers uh as a healer i would not want to do a toldegor like ever uh just because i think overseer corgus can be so so rough with those overlaps and it's the other thing overseer corgus has a ton i don't know if it, i feel like this is still the case has a ton of rng if he does if he does the overlaps right the if he does the the same shot twice in a row Right? The explosive... I think it's... Is it the explosive one? If he does it twice in a row, you're like, that's it? Should not have had that poison effect to begin with. Yep. Yep. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine with, like, being stationary. I think it's... It's it's whatever. But it... It just... And the can... I think the cannons are a cool touch. Like, I think that is fun thematically. Using the cannons to kill trash. I actually preferred it when you had unlimited uses. Just because I think it was a little more... Like, yeah, it's cheesy as hell, but, like, I'm okay with a little bit of cheese, you know? Cheese cheese is fun. I like the taste of it. Um, There's, like, some way to bait that he does or something. Yeah, there, there's, there's like... I, I just don't think it's that good. The intro, the intro stuff is okay, except for the first boss on a high tyrannical key has way too much health, and that fight just goes on so long. That fight can go on so long. Yeah, exactly. Breaking the rules is definitely fun, and 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 
back then the cannons did feel if the cannons were still in there i'd give it a c i think oh and uh what's her name uh the boss the boss that puts the barrels out i have not once in my entire bfa career have moved any barrels ever i've never felt the need i just position her in a corner and i sit there as a tank the entire time like as a tank fight that is that is it's 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 a horrible tank fight yeah yeah first boss is brutal on uh, necro yep valiri night uh night master valiri right or night captain because they're white and different i know that's i i'd, I'd rate this tier maker uh, uh d just there to call out the corners yep it, it doesn't feel good and even corgi honestly none of none of the bosses feel good as a tank in in maybe maybe jess howler and the jess howler trinket is super dope but overall yeah I'm, i would i would it told the course of tea dude all right under rot i'm gonna give under rot a b tier yeah under rot under rot for me first of all mount right um i like i love dude i love under rot from us from an aesthetic it's so different it's so different than anything else um the trash again takes it down for me the entire the entire area around Kragwa is is really annoying or not Kragwa um the second boss um has also it is it, it, yep it's a lot easier with the with the obelisk but a lot of the trash is kind of annoying you don't get interrupts off on the right thing it's like uh you got the enemies that fixate you can't do so you can't do like huge I know some obviously there's outliers you can't do like a huge pull around the second boss's room what the hell is Kragma Kragma that's his name I was saying Kragwa which is the Loa Kragwa the huge Kragma which uh, dude I, the first boss is not the first boss of under rot doesn't feel like a boss to me like especially you go in with a you go in with a you go in with a, a prot a prot warrior spell reflects some blood bolts you know it doesn't it on it it's like i don't even a lot of my runs i don't even deal with just screw the screw the the blood mirror maybe turn and burn it but like honestly the boss has such little health that you'll be able to just chew through it anyways for the most part obviously really high tyrannical keys being a different thing yeah she has a single target nuke you can spell reflect exactly and like as a as a prop pally i'm like i really don't care at all um second boss is f i actually do like the second boss kragma i think it's cool i like the tantrum stuff i like everyone running around trying to squish all of the things but that room sucks for trash it's such a big room you have to pull a little bit of stuff at a time because it can get out of hand if you don't and then you you're back at the start it's super risky to pull everything you can but it's risky and then you after that then you start getting into like the death area and start dealing with those dudes which are actually like i love that air i love the fungus everywhere like it's super creepy looking you have the 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 dude that smashes down that's a that's a pretty fun boss um but then you have the last boss which is just like not fun the abomination looks cool looks super cool it reminds me of um the dude from last of us 2 the boss from last of us 2 or the last of us 2 boss reminds me of it i should say but yeah i don't i don't think it's fun to watch this titan keeper thing run around and, and destroy these little blood things that pop out it's like cool done but it's not horrible under rots b tier i'd give it c but it's got a mount so it's gotta go b all right <clears throat> waycrest waycrest manor Waycrest Manor. Underrot's the bar. Waycrest Manor S. Just kidding. It's an A. I'd give it an A. The, okay, so the reason why I won't give it an S 
The only reason I won't give it an S is because I think the triad, I think the triad bosses, I think the triad bosses on high tyrannical keys are so unforgiving and, and it really just ends a run. If you get in there and your group isn't hundred percent on those triad bosses, dude, it's it, you're forked. Like that's it. Your run is over. It's it, like legit. You are, you are done doing the dungeon. And that's, and that was, that's this season where you can directly go to them, right? You can always just directly go to that boss. Past seasons, you couldn't do that. So if you were like in a group and then you got to triad after, and that was the last boss that you had to do, right? And no one could do it. You just wasted, you just wasted so much of your time. Uh, so, so triad for me is then, and, and then the other reason why I give it an A instead of an S is because I feel like the story of Gorok Tool ends very abruptly uh we don't really get a, a, a satisfying conclusion i think to his story he just kind of it just kind of ends in the the order of ember the those guys are just like we did it and it's like i would have liked like a, a cinematic or something in that dungeon just some anything even in a, like anything right they get energy the the triad bosses yeah the triad boss i mean Still, I don't know. I, I, but what Pakrik said is right. It, it's that is again another one that feels a hundred percent like a Disney ride, and it's awesome, and I love that. Need a Gorok Tool expansion. Well, we're out Um, I want to see more Drust. I love Drust stuff. Like that's a, a huge fan of Drust. Um, it gets picked up in the Pride of Kultira cinematic. It does. Yes, it does. But I still would have liked to see something at the end of the dungeon. The Pride of Kultira cinematic is outside of the dungeon. I would have liked to see something that shows like Gorok Tool getting away or, or like anything, right? Uh, Waycrest, so Waycrest Manor, I think from like a fun standpoint, I think it is fun when you can do it. And that's why it's an A. Uh, some of the trash sucks. Some of the trash just like spawning in on you kind of stinks. Um... Like I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of like you're walking around and one of the sisters comes and like kind of screws you. Uh, it was way worse. It was way worse earlier, right? With um, the infested affix, right? Is that what it was? The first first season, that was really stinky poop. Um, with the way that the maggots worked. Uh, could live without stuff. Uh, pulling from the sub basement into the courtyard. Yep. That I mean that's like a buggy thing, which kind of lowers it. Uh, I really like the design of it. I love the aesthetic of it. I love the music in it. I love the sound in it. I love, um, most of the bosses. I think Triad's a good boss. It's just really hard if, if your group doesn't 100% know what they're doing. Um, yeah, I would give it an A. I'd give it an A. All right, last dungeon. Atal Dazar. Curious, what do you guys, what do you guys think I'd put Atal? I'm going to give it a B tier. I give it B. I think it's, I think it is the most like, like, ah, uh, this is hard because a tall desire is beautiful. I think a tall desire is beautiful. I think a lot of the boss fights are fun. I think Yasma is super cool. I think the gilded princess thing is really fun. Um, I don't really like uh what's his name? The the abomination guy, the big troll, dead troll. And I hate the trash before him. Um, and I really like the Loa of Kings. Uh I, I think that's just a fun like dropping into the pit and facing him feels very vocal, thank you. Yeah. Um I think those are fun. Uh I think the Sorad pa the Sorad packs make certain things kind of annoying. Uh, it, to me, honestly, I think Atal Dazar is the most, uh, like, like, Underrot, Underrot is, is, Underrot and Atal Dazar feel very similar in the way that, like, they feel like the bar for BFA for me. Like, Atal Dazar, I will always remember a, Atal Dazar in BFA because it just feels so bfa -y. Um, right? Like, I, it really, really does. Like, I... I, like the it it it, it I it, it's everything that I imagine in in Sandalar and 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 whatnot. But 
there's also, I don't know about you guys, but there's an entire area that I think I've done once, right? When you go into the dungeon, you can either go down to, to um, uh, the Loa or the, uh, the, the, oh my God, why am I blanking on his name? Or you can go left to where the augers and everything are, or you can go right to Vocal, like through into Vocal's area. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've ever, except maybe once, Razan, thank you. I was thinking Rakan, but that's the Dark Spear leader. Um, I was, I, I don't think I've gone left ever in, in, in that dungeon. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy, but I, I legitimately think I've done it once. That entire part of the dungeon is just so much harder for no reason than a lot of other things. Like, I would rather fight the undead dudes with the totems than, than the augers and whatnot on the other side. Worth priestess trash? Yeah, it wasn't worth Yeah, exactly. And I don't know if I really... And you, you also... There's just like... It feels to me like there's so much of that dungeon that's just not... We don't utilize it. We don't play it because there's a better option. You know what I mean? And it's cool that there's a better option, but it's such a better option that it feels it feels like it feels like we're we're losing half of the dungeon because because it's just such a better area, you know. To me, so that's why that's why I put it on B. I think it's a fun dungeon. I think it's a good dungeon. But it's it's baseline. It's just, it's literally baseline for me. Yeah, I, well, that's another thing. A lot of these dungeons became a lot, a lot more uh, nuanced and a lot more fun with season four, I think. You can, you can actually use the obelisk to like do some crazy stuff. It's, it's actually makes it a lot of fun. Tall Dazar, though, feels like the obelisk actually hinder you in a lot of places where you're like, well, shit, I, I can't really skip here because if I do, then I'm stuck. I got to take an even harder pack of trash because this obelisk is placed in a spot I'm talking about the one that's near Vocal. Like that one, Vocal, whatever, is near is near trash that you would never normally pull because it sucks. That pack is horrible and you have to because of the... Eh. That is my BFA dungeon tier list. S tier, we have Freeholds. We have King's Rest and Siege of Boralis. Highly controversial to have Siege of Boralis sitting there. I think it's good. I love Siege. A tier, we have... Okay, so sort of... Uh, we have the Mechagon Junkyard. I would actually put B uh, because I, I think it's I think it's it's cool that it's sprawling, uh, but a lot of the trash I think is like it's just so much trash, uh, and I'm not a trash. I, listen, I'm I'm trashy, but I'm not a trash guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, workshop though, Workshop would go S tier. So average them together. Mechagon as a whole is A tier. We got Motherload A tier as well. Uh, it's I think it's a really fun thematic dungeon. Uh, I wouldn't say no to doing it. We got Waycrest Manor. Uh, there are some issues that I have with the dungeon that are pretty big. If if I didn't have such an issue with like Triad or whatever else, this would be S easy. Based on theming, art, aesthetic, like all of that, 100% would be S tier. But in this case, for me, it's A tier. Um, I would I would probably I would definitely do these dungeons before I would agree to do a Waycrest Manor. Uh, B tier. We have Underrot and a Tall Dazar. I feel like that's baseline. That's like the 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 app the you know, you don't not want to do it. You don't you're not like super excited to do it. Uh so yeah, obelisk actively make a tall Dazar a little bit less fun. Uh Underrot has has a mount, so it, it's a little bit better, but I believe I, I I would say these are a baseline. I'm not like I gotta jump and do these. A tall Dazar is really good if you're like I need to do my five mythic dungeons, right? I think it's 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 fine to jump in and do those. All right, and then we have, and then we have uh, C tier is Shrine of Storms, and uh, uh, Temple of Snake. Temple of Snake, I just I just don't think it's a fun dungeon. I I'm not super into the aesthetic. Uh, there's some fun boss fights, but there's also a lot of hindrance. The Orbs are cool, but like super annoying to get through, especially if you're a big uh, Draenei. Uh, Shrine of Storm has obviously horrible trash. And the only D tier, I think, in the entire of BFA, the entirety of BFA, is Toldegore. 
And a lot of that is because of how buggy it is. A lot of that is how uh, constrained it is, which I'm typically fine with. But in this situation, it's like not super fun to run because of the bugs. Like the fact that you're so closed in and you have bugs, I got to give it a D. What do you guys think? Is there anything? Is there anything on this list that you're like, this is the worst. You are stupid, man. You are a stupid man. Let me know.